Satnam and welcome to the relaxation series to release negativity and tension. And no matter where you at, I think this is a sequence that um, should be constantly on your mind. It's easy to do, even though it's super challenging. So let's tune in, sit up straight, and begin to deepen in your breath. You can now close your eyes and then on the next inhalation take your arms out to the sides over your head bring your palms together and guide them down midline of your body toward your sternum and begin wrapping your palms <clears throat> so make sure you have water a blanket nearby and make sure that everything you need for your practice is beside you. If you need to go and organize quickly, I just gonna deepen here the breath and settle in. So let's remind one another. When we begin to practice, we find a perfect position that suits us. We elongate for the crown of our heads. We create heat in between the palms, awaken the physical body. Okay, and then roll the shoulders back. And really feel how you're lengthening your sitting bones, drawing deep into earth, into your mat, your sheepskin, or wherever you decide to sit on. This is a sequence that is performed mostly lying down, so today the chair would be not recommended. And then really softening the muscles on your face. And I'm gonna tune us in three times with Om Namo, Guru Dev Namo, the Adi Mantra, and the Mankara Jali Mantra for protection. Exhale to begin. Inhale, tuck your chin. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Inhale again. Akre name, jugat kre name, sat kre name, siri guru de ve name. Akre name, jugat kre name, sat kre name, siri guru de ve name. Akre name, jugat kre name, sat. Krename Siri Guru Devename And then we setting the intention to commit to a long deep breath. So today the focus is on our breath. There are no challenging repetitions. There are rather the challenge of holding the pose and breathing as deep as you can. Blink your eyes open, please. Okay, so relax the posture for just a minute. Now, in today's sequence, we will begin the practice with five minutes of breathing. And the breathing I gonna call out so you can comfortably just close your eyes and listen to my voice. So we are going to inhale for five and one inhalation. And it occurs a little pause on top of the inhalation and then gently exhale. And there's a little pause there again. And then we pump the stomach for five times about. Sometimes if you're more advanced, obviously you, you pump a little bit more, but it's five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. So it's going to be
okay? Then we, go, we are going through a series of um, exercises that will be very challenging in holding. Therefore, I cut down every exercise to one minute. And then we are going and I'm building in that little um, counteracting. So usually we are asked not to change the sequences, but again, this is a technology and technology develops. So I'm taking the liberty really to um, move my body a little bit before we sit in a meditation and we are chanting the Mangaracharya Mantra. And this is a good chance for you to learn how to recite. I will be repeating and repeating. You can just uh, mentally follow along and once you get um, the Sanskrit mantra, you start repeating. Okay, now let's begin. So I'm setting my timer. Please come to a comfortable position that you know you'll be able to hold for five minutes. After five minutes, you will hear my timer and then you can open your eyes. So I'm calling out for you. I'm calling out for you the seconds, the five uh, seconds, and you just follow along. And we begin to inhale now. Okay, please inhale. Exhale. Pump. Inhale. Exhale. Pump. Inhale. Exhale. And pump. Inhale. Exhale. And pump. Inhale. Exhale. Pump. Inhale. Maintain an upright position. Exhale. Holding complete. And then pump. Inhale. Exhale. Pump. Inhale. Exhale. Pump. Inhale. Roll the shoulders back. Open the chest. Exhale. Pump. Inhale as you maintain a really long spine. Exhale, keep the Chalada Bandha closed. Exhale deeply and get ready to pump. Inhale. Exhale. Pump your stomach. Inhale. Exhale. Pump. Inhale. Exhale. And pump. Upper body is still. Inhale. Exhale. 
Release the apana and then inhale. Exhale. And pump. Inhale. Exhale. Pump. Keep your lips sealed, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose, keep your lips sealed. And pump. Inhale. Exhale. Pump. Inhale, exhale, inhale, pump, inhale, exhale, pump, and then inhale now, and exhale. And pump here. And squeeze Mula Damant. Inhale. Take the arms up and hold your breath. Tuck your chin. Squeeze. And now release the holding of the locks. Exhale through the nose, full and complete and just integrate. So you might feel how the prana that entered your body is circulating all around you. So often that brings a lot of dizziness along. So just focus now on long deep breathing, allow your prana to circulate throughout your body, allow the tingling on your fingertips, maybe your toes. So whenever we inhale, we inviting new life force to enter our body, our physical and pranic body. And as soon as we exhale the prana, the apana, the used energy, everything that accumulated in our body is leaving our body. And so when you feel that dizziness, that slight lightheadedness in your body and your head, that's perfectly fine. So that means you're really committed to your breathing. Okay, now please come to lie down and find the perfect long spine. So take, take some time to find that holding. So I am extremely, extremely um, sore and weak by Saturday. I'm really busy throughout the week and I had a really hard practice. Now this is going to be very challenging for me too. Um, I'm going to keep the timer on. So now, who doesn't want to grow very, very old, wait, but stay young and useful and energetic? Everybody, hands up, arms up. Now, this is one exercise that might seem easy. We are lifting without using the hand and holding only the area of our buttock. So we are lifting nothing else but the hips and the buttocks up. We are connecting our heels and we are breathing for one minute long and deep. Okay, I am starting the timer now. And lift up. Head and arms are relaxed, but if you don't want to cheat yourself, you can take them up. Now, inhaling and exhaling through the nose, really pay attention to your facial muscles, really deeply relax them, inhaling full and complete, so you bring the prana all the way up to your lungs, and then pausing on top, and exhale, nice and light. So I always tell my students that we indeed need a reason to do this kind of exercises. So sometimes it is easy to get away when we do repetitive exercises because our mind can wander off 
and we have 15 seconds left and basically it's easier to commit to these repetitive uh, movements but when we lie and hold a posture we are really engaging and we contracting therefore we using our breath and there we are you can release and therefore it becomes more difficult so just hold it if you like here just release your lower back so often in the sequences that are given to us by the Kundalini lineage, one exercise might just follow up to the next. And for some of us this is good, but often it is good to just do a little counter pose to relax whatever we um, challenged. Okay, so our next exercise is basically um, what we know as the stretch pose but we are only going to lift off our legs and this is very tough. So for our own sake, if you feel this is too much and I think it could be too much for me today too, you can just lift off your left leg and then change. However, if you feel that you need your hands underneath your um, tailbone, by all means, please place it. I might even place it today because um, I feel my lower back is challenged. So let's start that minute now. So we are working on squeezing out toxins from our body. So we are relaxing today, we are releasing um, tension. and. Whenever we um, work that way, we are drawing energy toward our heart. So for some of us, we might even feel our heart beginning to pound a little bit, okay? Now, let's inhale and exhale long and deep for one minute. So often, when we are exercising a physical asana, obviously we are thinking about our physical body, but it is so important to know that each and every exercise we are doing um, has great benefit for our eternal organs and for our mind. And especially when we are working on the tip of the triangle, which is our third chakra, and we are really learning holding the legs up this way, we are tapping into our willpower. And so the fire that is located in our third chakra really starts burning and we slowly learn to use this technique. And there we are. It was a very small cling. You can exhale, lift the legs down. It wasn't so bad, was it? So we are learning to really engage that what gives us the will to go through with whatever we trying to achieve now again you can just take your arms forward whoa maybe your body even up and down even up and down like so And then in this sequence, we are going to use our left leg for the next exercise. Okay, close your eyes, catch your breath. Make sure that your collarbones are nice and open, shoulder blades nice and flat, tailbone scoop forward. Okay. We are going to toxify and strengthening now for one minute. We are going to raise the leg as straight as you can. And really, it's only one minute, not three as we um, usually do. So holding that leg up and deepening our breath. You can just recite Satnam on the inhalation and exhalation, or you just can follow your breath telling yourself inhale and exhale long 
and deep and full complete inhalations and exhalations and working also on that opening of our life nerve And the rest of the body is very still. Facial muscles are nice and relaxed. So we are tapping deeply into our um, internal organs. That's it, already one minute you can roll your leg up. Now just hug your right knee, take it toward you. Release a little bit your hips and remove and bring the left leg forward. Do this a few times, Pavan Asana, releasing also the gas in our body. So this is a fantastic exercise. Sometimes when the hormones fluctuate or when, when we may be eating food that produces too much gas, we trying to, to eliminate that uh, gas because this is not healthy. It can be the cause for many um, unwanted things such as migraines or tummy aches. Okay, let's just take a little pause here and have a sip of water before we going into our next challenge. So during the practice of Kundalini Yoga, uh, often we encourage our students to have a sip of water, make sure it's not too much so unlike other practices of yoga where we drink water before and after, so doing the Kundalini Yoga practice, you have permission to take a sip of water. And also, if you are in the comfort of your own home, you can always pause and just go and rinse your mouth. So often when we breathe long and deep, we notice a, like a sensation on our tongue. And these are all the toxins that are uh, coming up and basically settling down on our tongue. Okay, now, next one is going to be a exercise that I highly recommend for everyone that is suffering like me of migraine headaches. So migraine headaches is something I live with for the past, oh God, maybe 30, 33, 35 years already. And um, through the practice of yoga, I, in I reached incredible changes. So now basically I'm I'm only getting migraines when the weather is extremely shifting or when I'm trying to do super perfectionistic and usually what happens so for people that are trying to be always perfect or that are very organized what happens is we are going bam, 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 bam. And by the time we reached our goal and we should enjoy or relax what is happening, we're having a headache. And to prevent from getting them, we are going to lift our head for one minute. So it looks like this. So basically, again, bring your heels together. So as I said, we always need to motivate us. We need to have a reason for why we are doing these exercises now. For, for us, we are trying really to only tuck the chin and keep the shoulders, shoulder blades as much as possible on our mat and then the gaze looking over the big toes, okay? Hands by your sides, okay? One minute only, long deep breathing in silence now. 